Hi everybody, Mason here, Badlands Head Tech, and we are going to be doing a video today about the installation of the Killhouse front block with the rail for the TPX, as well as the first strike block, also by Killhouse under the TPX. Should be a good time, so come on in here, we'll get a closer look and get this thing done. Now here we are, we have our TPX, we have our front block with the rail on top, nice Picatinny on there, and we also have the uh, first strike breach, which we are going to be doing the install on. So, let's first of all, eject our magazine. Safety first, and it's also something we don't need just hanging around. And if you remember back to the install that we did for the remote line adapter, we're gonna take out this screw right here, and we are going to put it back in from the other direction, because that will make disassembly a lot less surprising. Because as we all know, surprises are really only fun on uh, Christmas and birthdays. Okay, now here we are. Carefully remove that, and we're going to take out the regulator and the valve and spring and all that stuff. Now, here we are. This is what we're really replacing. We have our detent, old block. We can take this opportunity to check the detent. This one's fine. And we can also replace this little jewel that somebody, Will Maskell, managed to remove but forgot to put back in. Silly, silly Will. So now putting it back in is just as easy as taking it apart. Drop that in there. We take our block and making sure that we have the rail pointed in the right direction. Gonna just drop that right in there. Now, the rail here is actually going to rest on top of the gun. It doesn't go down into the notch here. It rests right over the top. That's why there's a little um, groove cut in the top here to rest over the, the hump where that screw comes through. Alrighty. Then we will put our O-ring back in place here. Valve assembly. Regulator. There we go. Puncture valve and air gas line. Sorry. Put that in there. Make sure we have everything in order. Apparently we do. Some of these have fallen out, but we'll put those back in when we reassemble the marker. So, we're now just gonna very careful line. Pop that out. Here we are. A wonderful clicking noise of a TPX going back together. It's like music to my ears. So then we will drop our screws back in where they belong. That fell there, that fell there, that fell there. The one I like to do first, if for whatever reason I'm rushing, is this one right here, because it's more or less in the middle. And does a job of holding everything together. So if you're worried that it might spring apart on you, then uh, just try throwing that one back in just to uh, hold everything together. And I dare say we are laughing. Spoke too soon. There we go. Now, to repeat, one installed first strike block and the top mount with rails. So now when you're putting your first strikes down, you're able to pull a little red dot on there and make your shots better. Alrighty, 
There you have it guys, that's the install on the Kill House front block and uh, first strike breach for the TIPX. I hope that was informative enough to help you get through it. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me through email at techzone at badlandspaintball.com. Uh, you can reach us over Facebook, Twitter, uh, and or email, info at badlandspaintball.com as well. If you would like to pick up this product or any of the other products that we carry, feel free to stop into any one of our retail locations across Canada, or you can see our full range of stock on our website, badlandspaintball.com. And I definitely expect you to get out there and actually play paintball, because that's really the important thing. <laughs>